I have to admit that I was a bit scared of Discord until quite recently. I guess I'm an old fogey as my first few experiences trying it left me completely bewildered. But I kept getting requests from all of you to start my own Discord server, so I have. And for anyone who is already lost, what Discord is is an app on your phone or your computer that's like a message board where each community on Discord runs their own server. And anyone can start their own Discord server and set it up however they wish. Because I had no idea what I was doing with all this, I wanted to start small. So for the past six months, it's uh, only been open to my supporters on Patreon. And I've been developing it with that community. And I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who has already joined my Discord server through my Patreon, especially those of you who have been super active on it and those who have volunteered to help me moderate. Starting the day, I'm opening up some channels to everyone. The link to join is below in the description. And uh, this will give everyone who's interested in astrophotography, um, who's found my uh, YouTube channel, a welcoming and beginner-friendly space to ask questions, get help, and get to know others in the Nebula Photos community. Now, to get access to all channels on my Discord server, you will still have to support me on Patreon, but it starts at just $1 per month. Uh, in addition to getting access to all the Patreon Discord channels, which are very active and there's lots of great people on there, um, the Patreon support will also give you access to vote on and participate in the monthly imaging challenges. And I have another video that I'm releasing concurrently with this one, introducing these Nebula Photos monthly challenges and also announcing the winners from the first two months. All right, now let's dive into how to get set up on Discord and review some of the rules and features of my server. I'll start with the new uh, public side before jumping into the Patreon only stuff. The first thing to do is uh, download the application on your computer or get the app on your phone from the Play Store or the, the uh, Apple Store. After you have it, go ahead and register a new account if you've never used it before. And once you have the app in the account, go ahead and click on my server invite link to join. Your arrival will be uh, announced on a welcome channel and hopefully you'll get a few hellos from people on there at that time. And I know it's boring to read through the rules, but please read my server's rules when you join. It should only take about 30 seconds and I'm very serious about my server being a friendly place. Any racist, sexist, or homophobic language won't be tolerated at all and that includes jokes, memes, and images. The server is set up with uh, both an auto moderator bot and human moderators in various time zones. If you ever have any trouble while on the Discord server, please feel free to reach out to me or a moderator. And you can just uh, click or tap on the icon and then choose message to write a direct message to anyone on Discord. Okay, other than the rules channel and a few other read-only channels that are about uh, keeping up with what I'm doing, um, uh, you know, with the YouTube videos or supporting Nebula Photos, the main two channels I've created for everyone here are public general and public questions. General is just where uh, you can chat with whoever's online at that moment about whatever you want. You could, you know, share what you're up to, talk about some new piece of gear you're excited about, or uh, commiserate about the cloudy weather that, you know, is always plaguing us as astrophotographers. Questions as the name implies, is for specific astrophotography questions that you have. Um, I'll often be in there answering, um, but there's also a lot of experienced members of the Nebula Photos community who can help answer uh, questions too. In, a, in addition to typing, you can upload full-sized images right into the chat. A lot of times, you know, images or screenshots are very helpful to diagnose uh, what's going on. Uh, unlike some other message boards that have very low uh, upload size limits, the Nebula Photos Discord server allows images up to 50 megabytes to be uploaded. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you support me over on Patreon at any tier, you're going to get full access to all channels on the Discord server, including the monthly challenges. Um, there's just a few steps to get this working. So first, go ahead and get set up on Discord, as I described just a minute ago. Then head over to Patreon and sign up there. Then to get full access, um, you're going to open up Patreon, go up here to the upper right, and from this menu that pops open, click My Profile Settings. In My Profile Settings, you'll click on Apps, and then right here you'll see App Integrations and you should see Discord. And over here there will be a button that says Connect. You click on that, log into Discord, and then um, it will all be linked up and you should have the, the right permissions to have access to everything in the Nebula Photos uh, Discord server 
through your Patreon permissions. So uh, hopefully that uh, all made sense. If you have any trouble with it, once you're in Discord, um, we, you know, either myself or any of the moderators can can help you out get this set up. I, re I really hope that uh, we have a lot of people uh, join and uh, join us over in Discord and because uh, it's a very welcoming community. And uh, to really get the, the full benefit, you'll, you'll want to sign up for my Patreon campaign as well. Till next time, this has been Nico Carver from nebulaphotos.com. Clear skies.